so um, I'm on some back country roads here, so I'm really not gonna look at the camera at all. And I'm sorry if there's wind blowing in it, but hey, it's a nice day out, gotta have the windows down. It's only 95 degrees, it's not 100 and some, so. Although this car in front of me really should be going the speed limit, but instead he's going like 10 under, I think. It's 45 and we're going 35, so like, what is he doing? Anyways, uh, so I just went and I picked up my first thing that I bought in like two and a half weeks, which I'm really excited about. I did drive like half an hour to get it, but it was a nice scenic drive. Uh, it was 24 miles away or 23 miles away. So that kind of sucks, but hey, you win some, you lose some. And I got an Xbox One and a couple games and all like the hookups and a controller and stuff for 80 bucks. And honestly, I'm pretty excited about that because I think that uh, Xbox One right now, I, I mean, I don't, but I have a feeling an Xbox One right now is at least 140, maybe more. I mean, I'm hoping 180, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, pretty excited about it. The dude had, had a, about a three minute chat with him and just so everyone's on the same page, he's not scared, he's not afraid. He's ready, he's ready for the coronavirus. Um, and that's what you get out in the boonies. Although he was driving a Kia, so I was a little, I'm a little confused. You're driving a Kia, but you're not afraid. I feel like a Kia is a car of somebody that's like really like I would need to wear my mask 24/7. Like the dude looked at me in my mask, and I was, and he was like, so I'm a little confused there. But hey, I mean, I do look pretty hot in my mask. Not gonna kid. Maybe I'll have to model here. Hey there, guys. What's up? Um, so. Honestly, I have no idea what I've filmed and what I have not filmed. Um, but that being said, I'm just going to show you a bunch of stuff that I've purchased. In any sort of order. But I'm going to start with the Xbox One that I think that's the last clip I filmed. And then I'm going to show you this 2DS that I bought that I don't think I ever showed. And also, I bought a PS3 a while ago that I never showed. I don't think. So I'll show that as well. And then... I bought a Wii yesterday for 20 bucks. Pretty good, pretty good deal. Although in the photo, I included a uh, like big box Wii Sports Resort that it didn't end up coming with, which kind of sucked. And, you know, I probably should just be like, hey, what happened to that? Um, but for 20 bucks, the deal was fantabulous as is. So can't really complain. But I'm going to show you this stuff. And yeah. All right. So the Xbox One actually turned out to be a one terabyte model, which is very sick, I would say, in my opinion. And it also came with the cables and everything. And then one controller, which, you know, I have no idea what model of controller this is, because I remember at first, I don't think they came with headphone jacks, but I don't, I really have no idea. Um, and then it came with Call of Duty, Battlefront, Tomb Raider, and Resident Evil 6. Um, and that was 80 bucks. So that was, I mean, that's an okay deal, pretty good deal. I don't know. Um, and then this one over here, got a 2DS without the stylus. Charger. Pokemon Sun. Nintendogs Lab and Friends. And then uh, Pokemon Ultra Moon. And honestly, this one is really annoying because rectify it yet nope you can see it the uh top and bottom of the label just like the peel up a little bit and i just yeah but that was 60 bucks so that's a pretty good deal at least in my opinion uh teach their own though some people might be like oh my gosh you paid 60 dollars for that how could you um, and then this final one was a PS3 that I got, like, a stack of games with, too. But I don't own the games anymore because I thought I showed it, but I don't think I ever did show it. So, um, yeah. Or just, why do I keep bringing it closer to my face? Anyways, and also, these are just high-quality high angles only. Um, but, yeah, this PS3 came with the box, um, but the box is destroyed, and I bought it as brand new because I was an idiot. It wasn't brand new. I paid 150. I should never have paid that. I walked. 
It was a great learning experience. Anyways, I'll just show it to you. It's dusty as heck because I've been letting my uh, my dad play on it, but I'm going to get rid of it and let him use a different PS3. But yeah, so here's it. It's just a 80 gig fat model of the system. It's very, it's very dusty. However, it's not like scratched up at all, which is really interesting. Um, but it does have, it did have like two people's accounts on it. Wow, that was art. And then it came with the controller. Also, yeah, I got Star Wars bed sheets. Come at me, I really don't care. But yeah, that's all that stuff. Um, and then there's some stuff in the garage that I'll show you momentarily. And also, I bought more Legos. Okay, so I just realized that I really can't show you any of this in any sort of depth. Um, I guess I can just show you one stack and another stack, tell you what I paid, but I really, like, it's just stacks and uh, bins and, like, stuff's on top of them and so on, and I can't really, I can tell you what's in them, I guess, but, um, yeah. Oh, actually, I'll just touch the Wii. Uh, Wii Sports, Mario Bros, Wii Fit Plus, a Wii, it's the GameCube model one. An HDMI converter. It has no remotes, but I have a couple extras. It came with the box, like everything and so on, except for a remote. And then also Wii Fit, but it's a Wii Fit Plus thing, and I think those are actually worth money right now. Okay, so um, one, two, three, four. Those bins, which um, I I don't know how to give you. Here's my hand. I don't know how to exactly tell you. They're, just know that these are gigantic bins. And that was 160. Gigantic bin. These are all the manuals for everything in here. And then this is just a Tupperware that the dude pulled all of the figures out. Although I still am finding more inside of there. Um, it's a lot of Lego City, a lot of Minecraft. A couple Hobbit. Couple of this, couple of that. But um, for the stack of bins, um, there's three different train sets in there. There's a mayor. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just say Maersk. It might be Maersk. Ooh, spider webs. Um, it's like a Maersk train, and then there's like a cargo train, and then there's another one. Um, yeah, that was. Oh, and then that was 160. They um, texted me the next day that they found more Legos, which was the very top bin. Um, and if I wanted them, I could just come get them. So I did that. But there's like, there, there also is all of the manuals for all those sets too. So there's like three different trains, I think two different police headquarters, a fire depot thing, a fire department like headquarter. And there's like all sorts of other ones. Uh, there's an airport, there's this, that. It's just mainly Lego City and then a couple trains. And then the other one, this, the, the Sterilite container that's down there is legitimately just full. It's, there's maybe this much room at the top. Like that Tupperware is a easy 75 pounds. And also it came with all of the manuals and so on. And that one was 350. I don't know if I ever showed you it, but I looked up like five sets and five sets were worth a hundred. So like the five sets added up and were worth over a hundred. So I was like, there's 67 sets in here. Five of them are a hundred. Fuck it. Let's just buy them all. Um, let's just buy it for 350 because I can't imagine 60 some odd sets being worth less than that. But yeah, um, I got to stop buying Legos and actually, because all the Legos are still in the garage because there's even more Legos inside. There's Legos everywhere. There's there's legitimately Legos everywhere. But yeah, um, that's probably going to be the video. I have no idea what clips I have, what clips I don't have, or anything. Um, so hopefully this makes some level of sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut it here, enjoy yourselves, have fantastic times, and yeah, bon voyage.